Hey guys, it's Albert with Upper Thoughts. Another year, another iPhone. This time we're unboxing the iPhone 15 and we're gonna do a comparison with the iPhone 15 Pro. So make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video to see the comparison. This year we purchased an iPhone 15 in blue. There's no special name to it. It's just called blue on the box. At first glance, the color really resembles a lighter blue tone. So it's closer to a white, I would say, than a blue. On the bottom, you can see there's a USB-C port, one of the biggest highlights of this year. As we dig deeper into the box, we can see there's the USB-C cable, there's the documentation. They also included a piece of paper that says you no longer need a physical SIM card. Another cool thing I found was there's actually a serial number now on the USB-C cable. Apple has always been very particular with their cables, so I understand that they want to make sure you're using the right cables for your phone. Other than the USB-C, the iPhone 15 is essentially the iPhone 14 Pro last year with the same chip, the same almost everything except one less camera. They also opted in for a more rounder design so the ergonomics feels better, which I actually like. And speaking of the rounder design, I was kind of afraid that the screen would have a protruding glass just like the iPhone 10 or the iPhone 11 but that wasn't the case and I will see what happens if I throw on a glass screen protector. We're now comparing it to the iPhone 15 Pro, which I also have an unboxing video, so make sure to check that out. The overall design, I would say, is pretty similar in the front. On the side, as you can see, the titanium has a different feel, a different color. The USB-C port also has a matching color to the case. The side button would be the more obvious differences this year with the iPhone 15 having the old switch mechanism versus the iPhone 15 Pro having the button. If you're also wondering, the power button is slightly lower on the iPhone 15 Pro, so you can't actually use the same cases for these two phones. Next, we have a comparison of the iPhone 15 and the iPhone 14 Pro Max, which is honestly a ginormous phone. It was very heavy and very big, so this new difference in weight is actually a really big difference. And you're going to see that as a theme across all of these reviews on YouTube. And I also have a comparison of the iPhone 14 Pro Max and the iPhone 15 Pro. So definitely click that link down below. And there's a lot of talks of the bezel being slimmer on the iPhone 15. And I would say on camera, it's not as obvious, but in person, there's a slightly curved screen. So it gives you that illusion that it's a little bit slimmer. Finally, we have a weight comparison. As you can see, the iPhone 14 Pro is 8.8 .8 ounces, and with a case, it's 10 ounces, versus the iPhone 15, which is 6, and the iPhone 15 Pro being 6.7. Thank you for watching this very fast and short unboxing video. I will do some more reviews, so make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. See you later.